Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ralf Baumgartel here. And in today's video, I'm telling you how to use the reverb module of the Behringer 2600 in a different way. So stay tuned. This is a quick tip on how to use the reverb module of the Behringer 2600 in a different way. This concept also applies to other modular synthesizers, provided that they have a reverb module on board. Usually, the reverb is being used in the following manner. Oscillator into filter into VCA and at the end the reverb. That's the usual way. But how about feeding the reverb back into the filter and making it a source of sound creation alongside the oscillators? So let me explain how I am patching this. In the VCF mixer, we move the sliders of the oscillators upwards to a lower third position. Then we take the reverb signal, the right reverb signal, and feed it into the mixer of the VCF. Now we move the VCA signal in the end mixer all the way up and the VCF signal to the middle position. Now we move the reverb all the way up to make the sound more obvious. And then we start feeding the reverb signal into the VCF mixer. You have to find your own personal sweet spot here to avoid any feedback loops. So have fun experimenting and exploring the sounds.
Okay, that's it for today. I hope you found this little 2600 tip useful. If you did, then please like, share and subscribe. Please make sure that you also check out my previous videos on the ARP 2600 and the Behringer 2600. I put the playlist up here and also into the video description of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again in my next video. Until then, take care, stay safe, peace.